I know a number of you have had issues with the version of Excel and doing the first, I guess it's the first four problems in the lab this week. I've got a workaround that I think uh, will help you a lot. As I noted in the live lecture, we used to use Minitab and it's still available. So if you're having issues using Excel, just use Minitab. Like here is my course here and I'm going to show you how to get to Minitab. Under Course Home, go to iLab and then when we get uh, to iLab, we'll see the link that we're going to. It'll be over on the right. I have to give it just a second. My computer is a little slow, but right here under Quick Links, it says iLab Citrix Environment. I'm going to click that. Now, notice Minitab is showing in my on my virtual desktop. It won't be showing on yours if you've never used it. If you want to find it, um, you can click right there where it says Search Favorites and start typing Minitab. And you should be able to find it. If not, give the help desk at the university a call, and they will help you uh, get, uh, say, I need help using uh, Citrix, and say I want to download Minitab to my virtual desktop. Now that I have it, look, I can just double click on it, and it's going to come up in just a second. Now when it comes up, it's going to be blank. There's nothing going to be there yet because we've got to put our data into Minitab. But you'll notice that it looks a little bit like Excel down here where it says Worksheet. And then it's got a number of things that we can do. Minitab really screams when it comes to statistics. It's great stuff. Now I'm going to pause my recording for just a second and bring in the data. Now your data that you should have uh, downloaded from either um, the doc sharing area or maybe your instructor emailed it to you. It's just an Excel worksheet. What you want to do is click the, the leftmost, let's get over here, Drive, where it says Drive, under A1. Click there, do a left click and drag all the way to the bottom right hand corner. We're going to do that. Select it all and do a control C or a copy. Let's see if I could, I could right click copy too, but I do a control C. After I do that, I'm going to go to mini tab and right under C1, the gray box, I'm going to put my, I'm going to click there and you see there's a box there. I'm going to do a control V or I could say right click paste. I generally do a control V. Notice that everything is there now. Everything is in Minitab. All of my data is there. So we're ready to go. Now if you will remember our first um, number one on the lab was to do a pie chart on the car colors. Remember that I changed the data on all of this, but we're about to make this so easy. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click Graph. I'm going to go down to where it says Pie Chart. Now, you say, Brent, there's nothing there. Put your cursor under Categorical var va Variables. Then notice everything comes up over here. Double click on Car Color. We're in good shape there. I now want to click on Labels. When I do, I'm first thing I'm going to do is title it. I'll just say Pie Chart for Car Colors. Now here's the cool part that makes it really easy. Click on Slice Labels, the tab right here, and then check Category Name, Frequency, Percent, Click OK. Click OK again. Everything looks great with the exception of 
the car the car colors don't match the pie colors the reason for that is Minitab can't tell colors it just assigns random colors so I'm gonna click let's start here on this one I click the graph once click it again notice that it selected that pie piece double click that pie piece and then under attributes click custom since this is the blue I'm gonna click custom and I'm gonna choose background color you can't see my owl. when I choose my background color shows up on another screen here but I'm gonna make it blue let's see that's uh, kind of blue say okay it changes it to blue click this one that says black double click say custom background color again my my colors are showing up on my second screen it'll be a color palette let's see black I want that one black okay pretty white so I click the white piece and I double click click custom background color I'm gonna choose white say okay silver double click on the silver piece say custom background color I'm gonna choose something that looks kinda of close to silver red double click on that red piece custom background color let's see can't see a red it's just not showing up for me there's red alright okay the next one is orange double click on the piece that says orange say custom background color I'm gonna choose something close to orange this just makes your graph prettier green custom background color green okay finally dark blue click on that piece double click custom see if I can find something that's kind of dark blue that looks dark blue now notice your graph just looks a lot better to get this into your lab into that word document just anywhere in this area go right click copy graph and go to your word document and just paste it in control V works like a charm now here's another uh, the next one is number two where we are supposed to uh, do a histogram oh this is so easy a histogram on the heights go to graph histogram I'm gonna choose simple so that's good say okay graph variables put my cursor there and I want it in height remember I changed all this data now labels uh, let's see I got to double click on height and it'll show up right here under graph variables click labels title I'm gonna say histogram for heights all right say okay now I think let's say okay now it's a beautiful histogram, but remember, uh, if they ask you to do the number of classes, like the example I did in the live lecture, they wanted five classes. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's too many, but we can fix that. Pick one of the bars. Double click on one of the bars. When you do, you've got some tabs up here it says edit bars go to binning b-i-n-n-i-n-g we're going to go down to where it says number of intervals and click that button we're going to change it from nine to five everybody get ready with me now everybody get ready bazinga five bars we nailed it this one looks like it's left tailed um, you know it chooses you'll notice it chooses a little bit differently than what uh, it might be but it's still it's a, it's a good histogram now let's see number three they wanted a stem and leaf plot this will blow your mind stem and leaf plot go to graph stem and leaf plot we're gonna do it for money so I'll put my cursor under graph variables double click on money 
Here is the most important part. Remember the money was in 10s, 20s, 30s. We've got to put an increment here. Increment of 10. In other words, my stems are really multipliers of 10. So zero stem is anything below 10. One stem is anything in the 10s. Click OK. Bazinga, there it is. There is my stem and leaf. Now, let me do show you, let, let me show you this. Your stem and leaf, now follow my cursor right here. This first column is not your stem and leaf. The, the 11, 7, 17, that's actually totals. It doesn't hurt anything to copy this whole thing and paste it into your lab. Uh, I think your instructor would count that correct. Uh, but the stems are actually the middle column. Your leaves are out here to the right. Again, this left column is just uh, the totals. Let me show you how to do that again. Go graph, stem and leaf plot. Okay, money and dollars. Okay, got it all. Um, increment is 10. You have to do that. All right. So that's the stem and leaf. I think the last thing, number four, was getting the mean and standard deviation of the heights. Let me show you what mini uh, tab does. We want these separated by male and female. Go up here, go to stat. This is for number four. Basic statistics, display descriptive statistics, boom. Under variables, put your cursor there. Go to heights. Let's see, heights right here, double click. Under by variables, put your cursor there. We're going to separate, separate these out by gender. Double click. Statistics. Click the statistics button. Boom. I want the mean. I don't need the, I want the standard deviation. I'm going to uncheck all of these that I don't want because I don't need them. It'll just show up. I click OK. Click OK. Boom. Look, there's my female mean is 63.74. Standard deviation for the females is 4.58. For the males, mean is 65.56. The standard deviation is 6.37. As far as the rest of my live lecture, you would have these done. Uh, and you would go through them just like I showed you in the live lecture. But I just wanted to give you an option on these and show you that, hey, you can do this. So I will see you next week in the live lecture. Let me know if this helped you uh, next week. Take care now.